Howdy folks and welcome back once more to let's play Ravenloft Strahd's Possession. Call the church in that long forgotten door which would not yield to us at last fate. It's placed the key within our grasp and we should return whatever secrets lie barricaded behind the door. We're right, lent to the turn of a simple key. But we got the money for the potion, that's the important thing. Alright, game's telling me to go to the church. Of course, at this point I've probably like thrown the key- oh no, there it is. I was gonna say, I've probably thrown the key away and left it in the dungeon. I think the church was up here. Okay. Oh, I saw that scene between those wall textures video game. A for effort, though. Anyways, I do want to thank everyone for commenting about their tasty, delicious sounding dinners in the last episode. I'm sure y'all are going to be confusing me for years to come. All right, I have no idea where this keyhole is. It's probably in the bottom level. But yes, I look forward to just years down the line randomly getting comments from people telling me what they're having for dinner. I'm just going to be like, what the hell? And then I'll I'll remember before the senility kicks in. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's that door way up. Well, I say way up there, but it's actually conveniently close to where we are. Of course, as soon as I start recording, the phone, Ela, I know you know this pain. Where is it? There we go. Okay. Easy. Never a doubt in my mind. Okay, saving into slot 20. It begins. I can't believe we've made it 20 episodes into this. That's so hasty in passing. This curious herald upon the wall deserves examining. All information is of use in a strange land. Uh, Incunabula, the vault of attainment. And there's scratchy bits on it. Ooh. I love that you can actually, like, you can actually almost make out, like, knowing that this says Incunabula right here, you can actually almost make it out. They probably just, like, downscaled that sprite or whatever, but I still appreciate it. God damn it. Just little touches. This game, the environment design in this game is better than it has any right to be, given when it came out. It's just so good. Alright, is this the beginning of, of fucking zombie golem time? What treasure is this? So many volumes carefully preserved. I've never seen so many books in one place in all my life. Only fate had given me time to make a careful study of these works. Yes, books. Sasha's lost manuscript page. What do we got? If you know nothing of Strad, if you know everything, know this. Today a piece of the sun has dealt a great blow to that beast of night. From crystal leaping forth a beam of brilliant golden light sent Strad to hiding, perhaps in long hibernation. Yet beware! When he wakes, Strad too will seek the medallion whose power he all but destroyed him, the holy symbol of Ravenkind. But I've hidden it, magically secreted it away with this note and two others, the only clues to its whereabouts. Further, I've magically encrypted the text, keeping it safe from all save those equipped with a piece of special note, a device enabling them to read my words. Alright, so that is... where is it? This thing? I don't know if I actually... Do I need to... Now if I do it, will it be different? No, do I have to like... We're doing science now, do I have to like do it like this? Uh, all right, good talk. Do I have to equip this? No. I have no idea. Video games, we're holding on to this shit though because it's probably important. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, holy shit, that, that, <laughs> that, that woke me up. That's a shadow. We're a bit beyond shadows. Why would they throw shadows at us after we've already fought and killed wraiths? By comparison, shadows are like babby enemies. 
I think it's D to drop. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to the, the, the Ravenloft keys. Anything that sounds remotely important, we'll hold on to. There we go. Okay, oh, just random gong sounds in the background. That's how you know it's a good idea. Yeah, Kim had suggested dropping keys like in the dungeons that you find them, but that is far too logical for me. I prefer to just kind of leave them wherever and then whine pitiably about not knowing where anything is and naturally blaming the game devs instead of myself. Can we unlock it? Oh. Oh. God damn it, Chunk! Yes, let's let the players ruin their lockpicks. Fuck them. Again, like, one of these walls is an illusion. Anything else? No. Well, like, yeah, it's like a little library, right? The only way this could be better is like if there was a table. The only game I've seen of this era with <clears throat> with area design that gets me better than this. Alright. One of these walls is fucky. But it's not one of these walls. Where is it? Unless there's maybe a button or something. Oh, hey. Okay, now a shadow fiend? More appropriate. Come on. Shadow Fiends are actually, I think, I was going to say, I think they're demons, but they're not. They drain strength. Uh, not noticeably. That wasn't too bad. Some spells, but. All right, another lost manuscript page. All right, here's the encryption. And he's, he's going hard, too. This isn't like some Rot 13 shit, either. Can I read it now? No, oh, they're making it into a fucking thing. <laughs> where azure dome yields to constant gray, where sky and cloud are one and light is but a flash among the clouds, where death lashes brightly to the ground, go you there. This is the... <clears throat> there's like this druidic hill, and there's there's a, like, lightning added... It, death lashing to the ground is lightning. Search below the thundering heavens for the prize. Amid the twisted wildwood, its guardian stands. One good straight heart of oak waits proud and true, a beauty beneath the dread sky. Go then to the gypsies, for the Vistani alone may you acquire a potion, an elixir known as the only passport through the mist shields the place, for only those guarded thus and true of heart may challenge the fog, the wall of poison, which waits between you, the forest of the undead, and the prize, Sasha. All right, how do I, there we go. Um, <clears throat> so that's basically just telling me, all right, we need to get the Vistani potion, which we were going to do regardless. Thanks, Sasha. I have to remind myself that, that these notes were perhaps not written for us specifically, and while we might have to, like, we're, we're going to get the coins because we want an escape from Ravenloft. Sasha wants us to get the coins so that we have a means of getting something with which we can stab the shit out of a vampire ward, I guess. Maybe some, like, holy oak. I'd say holy wood, but then the comments would be just full of dick jokes. Well, probably not. You guys are better behaved than Chad is on Twitch. Those guys are... Fucking perverts. All right, so we have two levers, and I see the sneaky button, too. Okay. Button didn't do anything noticeable. Lever one. Eyes on the doors for when horrors come at us. All right, nothing. button maybe opens this door or something or maybe this does okay why <laughs> what is the point fucking video games man not even once we have so many potions so goddamn many potions it's ridiculous 
and I'm actually half using them in this playthrough. I do think that I'm going to want to swap out on Ryzard from the Wand of Frost to a Wand of Fireballs. We have another pickable lock tentatively. And broke his picks. Wonderful! Why? You know what they should have done? What they should have done is for rogues, just like mages have an inventory of, like an inventory slot that is dedicated to their spellbook, this should just be the lock pick slot for thieves. And if you like mouse over a lock, it gives you like the option to just click on it to try to pick the lock. Bam. Problem solved, game devs. You're welcome. Can I hit you? Like, oh, <laughs> you fucked, son. I don't even care. All this cheesy bullshit. Their manuscript, of course. Okay. Oh, hello, sir. One moment, please. I just have a lightning bolt. Let me finish boring this room and making sure that there's nothing in here. But yeah, like. Ah, uh, yeah, there's totally something in here somewhere. Like, look at this. There's just like. There's shit everywhere. It's it's not like in the later games where there are a lot of just bare walls. It, 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 like, there's, you know, webs on the walls, there's vines growing on the walls. Like, there are some walls that don't have anything on them, but there, there are a lot of walls that have, like, little things as well. Like, you know, you got, you know, some vines growing up from the floor, and even the bare walls, like, you've got, like, cobwebs. They're kind of hard to see, but... Oh, and then there's just stuff lying all over the place. It's so good! It's so good! This game makes me happy. All right. It makes me happy until it doesn't. As, as is the common protocol, I suppose. Once twined around, once, once twined, once tri twined around the stone, then twice, then thrice, then twice more in the circumflection, each circle of four waits within the greater ring, waits for the planting of the seeds. Aye, for only the seeds of divine light of Lathander, Morning Lord, when placed to rest within the inner circles, may free the prize. Plant within that shady circumference, one to each circle of stones. These four symbols will bring down the light, rending beauty to release the prize. Then behold, there the holy symbol of Ravenkind awaits. Okay. They want me to put some seeds in some circles, I guess. I think we can handle that. Inventory space be damned. Can't remember. I can't remember if there's a sunblade in this. That was another thing, like in the in the the older modules, is you need like the holy symbol of Ravenkind and a sunblade, I believe, to attempt to fight Strahd off, or at least banish him. Oh, uh, all right, that wasn't too bad. Oh shit! They're coming out of the walls. Thankfully, we have fire. Wait a minute, wasn't there... Wasn't there a secret back in one of these rooms? I'm pretty sure there was. I just got totally distracted by it. No, no. Moving and turning just does not feel good in this engine. Like trying to move on a... Like move and turn at the same time, it just it never feels good. All right. Is there another one? Yeah, saw that coming. Okay. Saving like a madman. All right, this is not an auto door. We can't click on it, so it is there. Is there a lever anywhere? Nothing immediately visible. Let us check walls for buttons. Um. Not seeing anything yet. Okay, not seeing any buttons. We can't hit it to make it open. Alright, uh, I don't know what the point of this is unless... I'm gonna come back and check check this. I want to know what this thing does. 
Nothing appreciable. Huh. All right, well, well, we'll leave it pressed and that doorway can sit there. I don't even know what the point of that is, unless it's just an alternate entrance into, like, this area if you can't navigate basic doors. I don't know, that wasn't even, like, a door puzzle. Okay, let me get over here. Burning hands at the ready. Prepare to torch some more shadows. I do have to say that I feel like the amount of secret doors in this game, like false walls and stuff, is about on point. Like, there are enough of them that that you're like, ah, oh, I bet you there's a secret door in here, and most of the time you're right. But they're, they're uncommon enough that every time you find one, you're like, hell yeah, secret door. Oh my, just get out of here, guys. Go home. It's not a time for... Shadow raves. We're gonna have a nap. Eh. And I'm gonna save again because I'm a coward. Burning hands at the ready. Don't do it. Don't do it. God fucking damn it. I swear to Christ. game is just trolling me, I swear. It's irksome. Okay, and that, that, that just unlocked this room! <laughs> Fuck off, game. Just, I don't even know. Like, what was the point? It just got us into a room full of shadows. It has to be, like, just an alternate... Like, just an alternate entrance. This is the fucking... God... That that type of level design that I've spoken about before where things are all in loops so that you can, generally speaking, get to any area in a dungeon from at least one or two other areas. Makes chases more fun, at the very least. Okay. You see that shadow fiend in there? They're fucking fast. But the rod of smiting does its job. Okay. I see a key. Gold teardrop church key. All right. To, like I like to picture these spellcasters in the background just just sitting with like a flame coming off of their fingertips waiting just waiting for the command to just let it rip and just immolate everything good lord I can attack faster bro combat speed in this game that is the one thing this is something this is the one one thing that I will knock this game for is that combat is just so holy holy spastic. There's no it, it's just too fast. That is something that they improved in both of the sequels markedly. All right, I'm gonna sleep again. Just everybody topped up. 192 hours. Like realistically, we should actually be sleeping for far longer than we actually are in this because back in like ye olden D, D, it was i think like a day of sleep was one hit point and that was it that's all you got and i think that might have even been a house rule i honestly cannot remember i know in third edition it's like, I think, a hit point a level. And then if you received, like, long-term care, it was more. Which, even then, it sounds like more, but with the HP bloat in, in latter editions, it's, it's not as substantial as you would think it would be. But, okay, so we got this teardrop key. Will that pop this lock? Yes, okay. 
So, I'm trying to think, did we get to that area? Did we have to unlock anything to get there? I don't think we did. Man, imagine going through this area without a thief. That'd actually be, ooh, gauntlets of dexterity. That'd actually be probably pretty obnoxious. I shouldn't say obnoxious. It would make it a very linear, very linear path. And you'd also have to find this secret door here to get up into there. But it looks like we've found everything. I don't know. I don't know how much I trust this, this like big empty area. I want to check over here. So gauntlets of dexterity. These are dex 18, which I think will net chunk maybe another point or two of AC. But compared to his bracers... Really? It's not doing anything for Falcon. See, that's some bullshit right there. Oh, they're just they're just plus one dexterity. I thought they cranked your dex up to like 18. Big oof. I was gonna say that would have been great for Falcon otherwise, but as it stands, these things are actually probably like completely useless. I'm gonna have Falcon wear them just so that he gets to feel like a part of the group having something on their on his wrist slot, but yeah, that's kind of kind of rough. Was that a button on the wall? No, just a bit of cracked wall tile. Man, fucking crazy all the shit. And like some of this stuff, like some of this stuff, I can I, I can get away with in Godot because like these webs, for example, Godot Unity was a pain in the ass when it came to getting like decals working on walls. Is this something? Aha! Oh, no, it's not where I thought it was. What? Oh, God. Um, and what decals are for, like, a simple a simple explanation would be like, you know how in an FPS, if you shoot a motherfucker, his blood splatters all over the walls? That's typically done with what's known as decaling. It's just like overlaying textures on top of other textures and giving you a way to get around Z fighting, which causes, like, obnoxious and shitty-looking texture flickering and stuff. Anyways... It was something that I, I had issues with in Unity, whereas in Godot, it's like super simple. And like a lot of this stuff, like webs on the wall, decal. I have as many fucking webs as I want. So like, that'll be nice. Do that for like webs, basically any wall decor, webs, tapestries. I mean, theoretically, theoretically, you could probably do more with it. Like you could make like a niche in the wall if you just art it right, which I don't trust myself to be able to do. But uh, do all kinds of flashy things. Cleric Scroll of Harm. Thanks, but no thanks. I was actually going to say, like, this is a library, supposedly, and we have found next to no spells in here. I would love to maybe find some stuff for my wizards, but I guess it's a temple, so it would make sense that we'd find more clerical leaning things. Okay. And nothing. All right. Well, I'm glad I checked out that little cubby. I'm sure there's probably more in here, but I think we're okay. But now it looks like it looks like we are expected to go and speak with the Vistani, get ye oldy coins, and then and then go to some hell forest or something. I don't know. We're I remember like nothing from this point forward in this game. Like I didn't remember what was down there. I was surprised by shadows and shadow fiends. So I'm just excited to be not fighting zombie golems. See how long that lasts. Hopefully for the rest of the playthrough. I hope we're done with them. It would be real nice. Realistically, though, eh. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's go pester our Vistani friend to get the potion. And then I think that'll probably be as good a place as any to go ahead and call it an episode. Save again, because we navigated the treasuries of the lower levels of the temple. God. Movement is so kludgy, you guys. It's it's undes the, the kludge is indescribable. Like it we, it feels weird. Like when you're walking, right, and you turn, like it it fucks with your momentum in just weird ways. 
and it makes it, it it makes it feel like you're trying to drive a car and fighting with oversteer. It's ridiculous. Like imagine trying to drive a car on ice, and that's kind of what the movement is, except the car just randomly decides to stop and lose all momentum every so often. Video games, not even once. All right. All right, Vistani man, give me your magical potion. Uh, you must know a great deal of land. Can we converse? Uh, some agreement. Allow me to buy it from you at fifth. We, we at last have the price of the potion. Allow me to buy it from you at 15 coins. Noble traveler. I knew at once you were a person of quality. You carry yourself the way rich men do. Haughty and self-assured. Yes. The potion is yours for 15 coins. And remember, all who would pass through the fogs of Barovia must partake of this counteractant. Otherwise, you will find yourself choking, your guts rotting from the inside out. Fun! Alright, well that wasn't too bad. I, it would be funny if he sells you the potion and he's like, There's, There is enough in this dose for one person. <laughs> And that's when Rove abandons the party. He'll take first watch and, and they never see him again. On that note, though, I do think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. So as usual, folks, thank you for watching. And I will see you all next time. We're in, I guess we're going to poke our noses through the fogs. Until then. Hey, you made it to the end. Nice. If you had a good time, check out one of these other series. See if you like them. Drop a like, comment, or subscribe if you'd like to support the channel. Be the machine and all that. And as always, thanks for watching.